Hi YouTubers, it's SmokeNessy77 again for the next video today. I'm in the garage again for the sixth video today, can't believe it. Now, I'm not doing a bulk pipe decker review right now, because I actually have something special for you guys. A little bit of a special treat. It's not a bulk pipe decker review, it's not a gas station cigar review, and it's not, um, definitely not the fact video. What I have for you right now is a premium cigar review. Now, I was retired from reviewing premium cigars last spring, not officially, not permanently, but I was retired from re reviewing premium cigars last spring, last summer, last fall, just because uh, things got in the way, life got in the way, but I actually do have a premium cigar review for you guys now. Now, this cigar is, the reason I'm doing this cigar, the only reason I'm doing it is because it's very special. This cigar is very, very special. I got this cigar in my liquor store, and it's actually going to be the Padron 50-year anniversary, um, Family Reserve 50-year. Now, I just smoked it literally just five minutes ago, or less than five minutes ago. Excuse me, I, I finished smoking it, and I want to give a review of it right now. I have a template right here, and I want to give a review of the Padron. Let me see, just make sure I'm saying it correctly. Padron Family Reserve, 50 Years Natural. Now, this is not the special cigar that Brian Glenn's Cigar Obsession reviewed uh, a day or two ago, um, which was the uh, Hammer. This is actually just the regular store-bought, um, normal uh, Padron 50 uh, Years Natural uh, Family Reserve. So, I want to give a review right now. I'm not going back to doing premium cigar reviews on a regular basis. Is just way too much money, but I want to give a review right now. Okay, and I was drinking water with it, so just so I, I didn't get um any weird taste of flavors because of coffee or alcohol or anything like that. So yeah, I want to give a review of it right now. So the Padron Family Reserve 50 Years Natural. Now this is um probably I would say. Uh, it's a, probably about a 6x52 cigar. I don't know the exact ring size or ring gauge, but um, it's a pretty decent sized cigar. Not big, not small, but anyway. So I want to give a review right now. But before I do that, I want to give you a brief ba background on the Padron cigars I've had. Um, very brief, actually. Um, first off, I have tried a lot of Padron cigars. I've tried the, the regular series the 64 series, the 1926 series, and I've tried the Family Reserve series. This is a Family Reserve blend, and they are aged 10 years uh, before they release them to the market, the stores, or tobacconists. So I want to give a review right now. So the first third of the cigar uh, is fantastic. When you light this baby up, it is fantastic. Now, it should be fantastic because this cigar cost me in my liquor store my tobacco is no, doesn't have them yet, um, Wash Day Cigar, but my liquor store in my town has them. Okay, this cigar cost me, I'm, I'm, we're getting to the price a little bit later, but um, it was expensive. So, the first third, when you light this baby up, like I was saying, you get a big blast of pepper and spice and um, just fantastic I mean, when you retrohale it in the first um, five minutes of the cigar, you're getting an intense uh, pepper and spice flavor. Just fantastic. So the, the first third is pepper, earth, espresso, uh, silky smooth smoke, very full-bodied, um, coffee, chocolate, cocoa, etc. So for the first third of the cigar, for the first five, five or ten minutes or so, it's a pepper bomb. I mean, you just taste pepper, earth, spice, espresso, coffee, like nobody's business. Like it's, whoo, like kicking you in the face. The, um, it's just fantastic. As you get, um, through the cigar, say up, up to about like 10 minutes, it gets a lot more milder, but not in a bad way. It gets more milder and it gets more smoother. The smoothness really, really comes out in the um, as you go towards the second third. 
very smooth, silky, silky smoke, um, beautiful chocolate flavor. <clears throat> the second third is silky smooth smoke, coffee, pepper, a musty aged tobacco, strong, spicy, thick smoke. So, for the first part of the second third, you are just tasting um, silky smooth, very well aged. Uh, this is these have been aged 10 years. Great, silky smooth smoke. Um, uh, thick smoke. As you go through the second third, and you approach the halfway point, it gets stronger again. The, the taste, the flavor, the body, the strength, the nicotine enhances, and you get a more stronger taste. The um, strength of it in the body comes up again. And you just get a fantastic um, experience. Uh, as you go towards the, la the last third, it gets smoother. You get some nuttiness, some wood, some cedar, uh, silky smooth smoke, chocolate, coffee, all that kind of stuff. Nutty. And that's about it. Um, now, the strength is meeting to full. You really have to love strength. To like the cigar. Now, interestingly enough, Cigar Obsession Brian Glenn, he said he didn't get much strength out of this. I totally disagree. Maybe it's because I was smoking the cigar fresh off the shelf. I bought this in my liquor store about an hour ago, a couple hours ago, and uh, they had it in their humidor, their walk-in humidor. Um, it was fresh off the sh shelf. Bam! Strength is a big thing in the cigar. You really have to love <clears throat> nicotine to like the cigar. I'm still pretty buzzed right now, and um, it's been about 10 minutes or so since I finished it. You really have to love strength. And I'm not saying it's going to make you feel sick or anything. didn't overwhelm me. Now, I have, I've been smoking for over six years, so it's probably not going to overwhelm me much. But you really have to love strength. You also have to love a lot of flavor and a lot of taste. Um, and really thick smoke. I mean, the first third, you are really tasting heavy, heavy smoke. Um, <clears throat> the retrohaling is strong. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> um, strong coffee, spicy pepper, chocolate. You really have to love pepper in the first third. If you don't, you're going to hate the cigar because the pepper notes are strong. Really, really strong pepper. Also, the coffee, when you retrohale through your nose, uh, exhale through your sinuses, there is a huge uh, coffee, um, especially in the second third, you get a huge cocoa, uh, chocolate, pepper, spicy notes. Great. The aroma is typical of cigars. This is no different. Um, very strong smell. Um, great smell. Smells like a walking humidor. Um, just fantastic. The burn is good. Um, it required two minor touch-ups, probably due to, due to, uh, storage, uh, storage, because, um, uh, I, I smoked this, uh, literally probably 15 minutes after I got home. So, no time in the humidor. It, it would definitely improve, I'm sure, with, uh, humidor storage. So, if you're going to buy one of these, I would recommend sticking in your humidor for at least a month, probably, so, to let it acclimate. Um, but it didn't affect the taste at all. So, it lasted for just over an hour, so pretty much an, exactly an hour smoke, which is good. I mean, most cigars nowadays are, are meant to last an hour, maybe hour and five minutes, hour and ten minutes. Um, a lot of cigars nowadays are meant to last 45 minutes. But when you get into the price, which I'll get into a little bit later, um, actually very soon, you have to consider this. Overall, fantastic. Fantastic, very strong, um, extremely complex. The taste and flavor is extremely complex. You will get out of the cigar, for the price you pay, which I'll get into in like a minute, tons of flavor. You get um, literally... Wood, cedar, coffee, espresso, um, pepper, 
um, musty aged tobacco. You can really tell it's, it's been aged for 10 years because, man, does it have a fantastic um, mustiness to it. So, yeah, uh, 10 out of 10 for rating easily. Now, my cigar of choice, I, I just could not afford to smoke these regularly unless I was like, um, whatever, so, but fantastic. Now, getting to the price, uh, this is already 10 minutes, I don't want to make this too long. Getting to the price, this cost me just under $30 at my local liquor store in town. Is it worth the price? Um, now, some of you are laughing your asses off because you're in Florida, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina. We could probably get these for, eh, even, even there, you're probably going to pay a decent premium because they're hard to find and they're expensive and they are top-notch cigars. I mean, these are the, some of the best cigars you can on the market uh, legally, um, excluding the Cubans. So, anyway, um, is it worth spending $20, $30, $40 and above? In my opinion, yes. For a special occasion cigar, this would make a great wedding present, a great baby shower present. This would make a great present for somebody who smokes and wants to taste fine tobacco. This would go well with, I'm sure it would go well with uh, bourbon, scotch, um, whiskey, good aged beer, wine, etc. Is it worth spending a lot of money? You're going to pay, um, you can get these. I mean, these are not the, this is not the um, $100 cigar that Cigar Obsession reviewed, uh, Brian Glenn. You can get these for anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks, but is it worth spending that much money? In my opinion, like I said, yes. I would not smoke these regularly. I mean, I don't, I don't even know how much money you would have to make to smoke these regularly. You would, whatever. I'm not going to get into um, whatever finances, but point is, yes, it's worth the money for a special occasion smoke. I loved this cigar. This is fantastic. Now, compared to other Padrones, like the 1926 um, number 9 Maduro, um, number 9 Maduro, that's a good cigar. Um, and that's still, um, where I where I shop, you know, watch a cigar in Massachusetts, that's still like 20, about the, it's about the same price. Um, but the difference really I noticed in this 50 year, um, 50 years natural, as opposed to the, um, the Everpadrones, is just more oomph to it. More oomph. More flavor. Just a stronger flavor. The number nine is more milder, actually. The number six, which is um, a shorter cigar, a much quicker burn cigar, that's, I haven't had that in a long time, but it's um, more stronger. So it's kind of like if I had to um, compare something or fuse two cigars, hypothetically, anti ever, it's like, it's kind of like comparing the the 1926 number 9 and the 1926 Padron number 6 together. So if you like both of the cigars, but you want a longer burn time, so you want the number 6 flavors natural with the number 9 burn time, which is usually like an hour, hour and 10 minutes, that's what this gets to you. Very strong flavors. And it's fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic cigar. And it's definitely worth the price. I mean, some of you who are living in Pennsylvania, Florida, where you're paying for the average cigar three, four dollars a piece, you'll be able to get these for 18, 20 bucks. People who are, who are living in Massachusetts, New York, California, Utah, where it's where you, there's a ridiculously high t tobacco tax, um, like where I live, Massachusetts, you're going to be paying thirty, forty dollars for these. They are worth it because. The flavor is just that good. Um, fantastic. However, you're going to spend a hell of a lot of money on this cigar. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, person makes me want to. This is almost, almost 15 minutes. I don't want to make this video too long. But I want to say it's a fantastic cigar. This has been the Padron Family Reserve 50 Years Natural. And I want to say it's like a 6x52 cigar. Anyway, or maybe, eh, more like a, eh, like a 5 and a half. So... Yeah, about this long. So, anyway, I will try to get the Maduro version of this to review. I'm not going back to premium cigar reviews, but I want to get the Maduro to review. And my liquor store does have them. 
they do have the Maduro version. And give me some time. Again, I don't have a paid job, so money's tight. <coughs> but I do want to review the Maduro also and give my comparisons between them. And this is a natural. So, anyway, comment, race car, if you want to. Long video. Bye.